guys, it's Megan. I thought I would get ready with you today. It is Saturday, October 3rd. Oh my god. Like, I don't get how it's freaking October already, but a lot. I have a lot to talk about, and um, first, as you can tell, my hair is shorter. I feel so much better with my hair this length. I feel like this is, and my hair, I shed so much, um, but I feel like this is a much better length for me. So I wanted to show you that um, before I like put it back. But see how my mom cuts my hair because I don't like going to the hairdresser. She was telling me I never, I never did like going. I just, oh, I just don't like going. I don't like having to talk to them. And it's nothing against like the people that I've ever had as hairdressers, but I just don't like to have to talk to people if I don't have to. So yeah, anti-social much. So, and this piece is gonna be driving me crazy. So it is freezing now. And so I've been wearing like my button downs and my flannels and stuff like all the time, which is so nice. And I don't know if it's like the weather or if my like taste is just kind of different right now, but I have not liked wearing a lot of makeup. I feel like I looked older wearing more makeup like not I don't care about looking like a few years older or whatever but I just felt like I was looking I don't know I just didn't like how having so much eyeshadow and so much this and so much that was looking so I've been very very minimal which is what I'm going to do today and I'm literally just gonna bum around I have so many shows to talk to you guys about um but yeah let's get started so um, so the TV shows. I am so happy that fall TV shows are back. Like, I, oh, there goes my freaking eyeshadow brush. This is going to not be okay. Um, so, like, all my favorite TV shows are, like, fall shows, and I pretty much never watch TV shows when they're on TV. I'm sorry, I have to get my eyeshadow brush. Um, I watch, I, oh my gosh, I keep drawing, <laughs> like, you guys, you guys, um, <laughs> so I never watch shows when they're on TV, except for Project Runway, that's, like, the only show I actually watch live, um, but, so I have Hulu, which, seriously, I never appreciated Hulu until I became obsessed with, like tons of shows and pretty much every show that I watch they have it on Hulu like the next day or whatever and I just have their normal subscription that has commercials with it but the commercials are between like a minute and a minute and a half long so it's not like a real TV like TV commercials where they last like five minutes um so it's not bad but they do now have a subscription where you can pay like $11.99 as opposed to $7.99 to not have commercials but it's honestly not worth it that much to me to pay four extra dollars for that so I'm just gonna stick with the $7.99. Anyway so I made a list if you guys follow me on Instagram which you should um I posted a list of the TV shows that I want to watch this weekend because it is so dreary thanks to Hurricane Joaquin, which all I can think of is Joaquin Phoenix. And um, so it's been so dreary, dreary. Right now it's not raining, but it has been on and off like for days on end. And I have my light. It's only like, well, right now it's like noon because I just watched The Kitchen, which is my favorite like talk show it's on uh food network but um so it's noon but it's like really really dreary still and what am i doing i'm trying to find eyeshadow um so it's really dreary anyway so it just makes me want to sit inside and not do anything which is what i'm gonna do i might go to target though because pretty much i never do anything so i might do that today but anyhow, so I made a list of all the shows that I want to watch this weekend, and the list is pretty, there's pretty many shows on that list. So last night I was able to, I crossed off like four that I was able to watch. So I watched the two episodes of How to Get Away with Murder. You guys, that show 
is so incredible. Like, I think I love How to Get Away with Murder more than any other, like, drama on TV. And that's, like, a big statement, but I seriously love it so, so much. It's, it really, like, you never can suspect what's gonna happen, and that's what I really, really like out of it. And I love Scandal, which is another one on my list that I'll have to get to this weekend. Um, but I think How to Get Away with Murder is... I guess because it's not that it's realistic, but it's not like going on in the government and stuff like that. It's just like people at a school, lawyers, whatever. And I just think that's a little more interesting to me than government because like everything is about the government. All these shows are about the government, which is fine, but it's just nice to have something a little different. I'm going to use um, Ondine. I have been loving this shade for my like not really wanting to wear a lot of makeup because it's just like one step and it looks like you did more work than you actually did. Um, so I watched that and holy crap you guys, the first two episodes, you learn so much about like what happened from last season that was like left unresolved, but then you also find out that there's going to be a new, um, crime to have to figure out like what happened that they're going to be revealing more information as the season goes on and I just am so enamored with this freaking show it is so so awesome and I'm thirsty but look at my spongebob glass <laughs> me and Chloe got these in college at Marshall's and so there was the Patrick and the Spongebob and for some reason I got the Spongebob because I'm like so happy or whatever if she if there would have been a Squidward one she would have got the Squidward because Chloe is Squidward so um yeah so how to get away with murder freaking fantastic um I also watched okay I watched two funny shows last night with Rachel we got um Applebee's takeout for dinner because like we wa we didn't want to make food and I was just really craving their four four cheese with honey chicken tender pasta I don't know what the heck it's called but it's really really good so I was craving that and I'm gonna have my leftovers for lunch um so we were watching shows while having dinner and so we watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which w is one of our all-time favorite shows, and we didn't realize we never watched the season finale, <laughs> so we watched last season's season finale, and then I think there was only one episode so far of the new season, so we watched those, and it's really funny. I miss that show so much, and if you have have never watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine, seriously give it a chance because there's a lot of shows that are supposed to be funny and they're just not really funny, but this one is actually really funny. I love, I've always loved Andy Samberg, so that probably adds to it, but it, it's just really funny. So that was awesome and it was good to see Captain Holt and Gina again. I miss them so much and uh, yeah, so that was funny. And then since we ran out of those episodes to watch, um, one of the shows me and one of my co co-workers was, were talking about TV shows, which is why I made a list of things to watch because after he told me different ones, I added them to my list. And so he told me that the TV show The Grinder, which must have just aired this week because there was one only one episode he said that that was super super funny so we watched that and we thought it was pretty good it's the one with Rob Lowe and I didn't know the premise of it at all but basically Rob Lowe is a actor and actor that plays a lawyer on a tv show called The Grinder and um his brother is actually a lawyer so it was just kind of an it's an interesting concept for a show but I didn't think it was like super funny it's not one that I'm gonna follow or anything but if if there's nothing else to watch I'll watch that oh my god I totally forgot the most important show that's back Mindy <laughs> Mindy is back so this week during my lunch break I was watching an episode like each day 
so then I ran out of episodes because there's only three so far but that show is just so good and I'm so thankful that Hulu picked it up because first of all I really like Hulu and I was already subscribed so it worked out for me but I think that they're little they have a little more freedom than being on a normal network and with comedies I think that that's that makes it makes the writers be able to be a little more funny and a little more just like controversial maybe and say things that the normal TV companies wouldn't let them say so I think that it's I'm just literally anyone could have picked it up and I would have been happy but I think that Hulu was a really good fit for Mindy so uh, I've been watching that and I'm so sad that I caught up because now what am I supposed to do during my lunch break so um, that's been a lot of fun and I didn't even have that on my list because I already watched it this week so what else did I watch um, so I did how to get away with murder the two funny ones and then the last one that I had time for last night is one that my coworker told me about and it is um blind spot oh my god <laughs> it is so good you guys this show is so so good so I never even heard of it because I'm really like a hermit basically so I didn't really know anything about it but when he told me about it I was like that sounds right up my alley and I was really excited to watch it and then watching it was even better than I expected so it's basically like a drama type of a show dealing with the FBI which I love stuff like that and um I don't want to say anything because it gives it away but seriously if you like crime shows um like suspense and there's like so many different storylines going on and you're just trying to figure out like who this one character is where the heck she came from and like what the deal is like why is she connected with all these people and what is going on with her past you have got to watch it it is it oh I wanted there to be more episodes there's only two right now and although I probably won't watch it live because I just don't do that, um, I, I'm i just so excited to see the next episode because it was that good and I watched them right before I went to bed and it wasn't like too scary or anything because sometimes those shows can be scary like a scandal. I do not like to watch right before bed because especially when they have, um, I always want to say um, his real name is Guillermo but it, um what Huck whenever Huck or whatever is like doing his torture thing I like cannot sleep after that so I really don't watch Scandal before bed but this one isn't like it hasn't been gruesome or anything so it's just really suspenseful and there's action and you're just like trying to figure out what the heck is going on and I love shows like that so I really hope that it continues on this good tra trajectory that it's on because I think that it's going to be one of the best sh new shows and um, so those episodes are on Hulu as well. So the only, the other ones that I have on my list, so I need to watch Scandal, there's two episodes of that um, and then I have, oh, Blood and Oil is one that I heard I think it's on like the CW or ABC family or something like that and P the articles that I was reading said that it is like the new revenge and I miss revenge so much it was my guilty pleasure show it's like it's not like a great show by any means but it really kept me interested and I just love all the drama in shows like that so you guys know I love Pretty Little Liars and so I think I'm going to give Blood and Oil a chance and Chase Crawford is in it. So that's like a bonus. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a shot. And that's just, those types of shows are ones that I will just watch when I want to kind of turn my brain off and not really like have to think a lot. Because with these other shows, I'm like so invested. But that like revenge and those types of shows, I'm like into it, like really into it. But it's not like I don't know I guess I don't take it as seriously or something it's just like for fun 
So um, that's one that I want to give a shot to and I don't expect it to be like great, but I'll probably like it anyway. And um, Haven, that's one that I heard about from my coworker. He said that there's like one season already, so I would have to see if that's on Netflix. I think that it I think you said that it is. Um, and then um, season two just started up. So I can't remember what he said, like the premise. I think it's like a town. Oh, yeah, this is the one he was saying. Like, there's something about like the troubles, like people have the troubles there. Like, that's what they're saying. And I'm not really sure. It's I think he said that's like a conspiracy theory one, like where the government is like trapping them in this town or something. I don't really know. But I love conspiracy theory shows, so that's one. And then we started talking about Wayward Pines because that reminded me of how he was describing Haven. So um, I only ever watched the first episode of Wayward Pines and that was months ago when it like first came out. And I guess, I don't know if I was just like busy or something or if I got into another show that I was like binge watching, but I never watched more of it, even though I thought that it might be an interesting show. So he said that he and his wife watched that. So I thought I would go back to it and see if I like it. And I remember that it's on Hulu. So I'm gonna see if that one gets better after the first episode or if it's just like whatever. Um, and then what was, a lot of you guys were commenting, commenting, saying that Quantico is a really, really good show. So, um, I haven't really heard anything about it. Like, I didn't look up anything, but, like, there was a lot of comments from you guys saying, like, Quantico is your new favorite show. So, I'm gonna check that one out. I'm thinking it's, like, government, because isn't Quantico, like, some sort of, like, government thing? Um... And I feel like there's another one. I don't, for some reason, I don't have my phone here, so I can't remember all the ones, but those are the ones that I can remember at least. And I am, I just love fall TV shows. So if I didn't mention one that you really love or just a show in general that you think is awesome, I finished, I didn't finish all of Suits, but I'm taking a little break from Suits right now. I got to the end of season three and it's amazing. I love it so, so much. So, um, that was my current, like, or, like, my brief binge-watching show. It probably only took me, like, three, two or three weeks to do three seasons. So, I'm kind of intense when it comes to binge-watching, but isn't everyone these days? So, now I'm gonna, like, go do different shows and then go back to that one when I catch up on all of these amazing shows. But if there's any shows that you really love based on the ones that I said that I like already, please let me know because I am just a TV addict. Like I used to be obsessed with movies. That was, I mean, I still love movies, but I pretty much own, I would, this was when Netflix was pretty much like you had to um, rent the DVD from them and you can only have like two out at a time or whatever. So I would be constantly renting different movies from Netflix. Like every day I would have a different one, watch it after school. This was in high school, send it back to them. I saw so many freaking movies and I have a huge movie collection and I can't wait for Black Friday to buy more. That's when I go like absolutely crazy. It's like the only time in the year I buy movies. And um, I do want to do an updated movie collection for my DVD binder because it's, I, I don't know how many of you guys watch it, but I get a lot of comments like even now on my DVD binder collection thing, um, like from guys saying, oh, give me an updated collection. We don't see a lot of girls do this. And so I can't wait till Black Friday comes where I get more DVDs and then I can update that video. But um, yeah, so I used to be obsessed with movies, now I'm obsessed with TV. Like, once college came, I was all about TV shows, and I don't know if it's because, like, my, <laughs> like, I got less of an attention span or something. Like, with a movie, you have to be focused on one storyline for, like, two hours or whatever, and then with TV shows, like, it's the same storyline, but different stuff is happening each episode, so you only have to like 
pay attention for like one hour. I don't know really what happened to me, but now I'm all about the TV shows. So yeah, definitely give me your recommendations on shows that I should watch because I seriously do take what you guys like seriously, especially about TV because that is really important to me. And I have loved a lot of shows that you guys have recommended to me. So that is my TV spiel that took forever. Um, I don't know. It's just like so weird how it turned into fall. Like literally overnight it seems. It was like summer. It was like 80 degrees. And then one day I woke up and it was like 40 degrees. Like literally. Oh, here's the story. Um, last night I wore my new winter jacket because it was so cold. But so my winter jacket story if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this last weekend. Um, we went to King of Prussia on Sunday because on Saturday my parents were in Philly like seeing the Pope and they they just had a really great time doing that. But we met them in King of Prussia to like just go shopping and stuff like that. And at Nordstrom Rack, Lord help me, I do not know what is wrong with me. I found this beautiful like jaw dropping stopping life stopping jacket from Burberry and I was like this is probably my only chance to ever try this type of thing on so let's just try it on Megan stupidest decision of my life so I try on this jacket and I fall head over heels in love I have never felt something so luxurious on me. It was a wool um, trench coat. Stunning. A stunning construction. The way that it fit me was perfect. It was like black and awesome and <sighs> gorgeous. It was half off, but the half off price, oh my god, you guys are going to a flip shit. The half off price was $650. So I'm like, oh my god, this jacket is what dreams are made of. <laughs> like, this is my freaking soulmate jacket. I love it so much. And I was just so, like, blinded by my love that I didn't, I was not thinking clearly on the price. And I, like, Instagrammed about it, and everyone was saying, you have to get it. But, like, obviously you guys didn't know the price of it. And I'm hoping that if you knew the price, you wouldn't have been saying that because... It was just such a large amount of money to buy something that I wasn't planning on buying. So thank God my parents and my sister are very rational and they were like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, it's a great jacket, but this is the first time you've ever seen it. That's a shit ton of money. <laughs> like, are you crazy? They're like, it's your money. You can do whatever you want. So I was like, oh my God. Like all your comments were like, bye, bye, bye. And I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? So we went to Ikea. I left the jacket. Like I didn't want to, but I did because I was trying to be at least a little bit smart. Um, so we went to Ikea. I love Ikea. But like the whole time, all I was thinking about was that jacket. And I was like, I'm going to go back and get that jacket. And long story short, I did not go back and get the jacket because I wanted to sit on it and think about it. So then later this week, my, or like l this past week, um, by the way, I am loving Dallas. You guys are so right. This, cause I'm like into this easy breezy type of look, this is a perfect like all in one cheek product. Like you can just put it on. It's like you're blush and bronzer all in one. You could even use it as like an eyeshadow. Um, it's just so much better than I honestly thought that it would be. So anyway, so then um, after like during the week, so it was last weekend, during this past week, my aunt texted me and was like, Bloomingdale's is having their friends and family sale 25% off of some brands you know that like pretty much everything is excluded so I was like oh my god thank you so much Aunt Sue and so I went onto their website first of all to see if they had the jacket they did have the jacket it was not part of the sale um it was on sale for like 800 but it wasn't part of the friends and family so I was like okay screw that 
but then I was looking for because once I knew the name of it I didn't know the name of it at Nordstrom Rack um so then I found the name of it that it was like a wool um trench coat and um then I was searching on the Bloomingdale's website wool trench coat wool trench coat and I found this one by Via Spiga that looked very similar. It was all black, um, same like buttons and like the little tie thing. Um, and I actually liked the Via Spiga one a little more because the Burberry one that I tried on had like some gunmetal like accents to it, like little grommets and stuff like that. And again, I was so blinded by the fact that it was so beautiful that I didn't want to be honest with myself that I didn't like that. But this Via Spiga one, all black, like no extra hardware or whatever. And it was on sale for $2.12. And then it was part of the fit, the 25% off. So all in all, so I bought that one because you guys will die over this. One of the reviews said that it reminded this girl of a Burberry jacket. And I was like, sold, sold, sold. Oh my God, yes. So all in all, it was like $159, which is nuts. I got it this week and it it seriously is just as nice as the Burberry one. It has the same weight to it. It fits me just as well. And I just absolutely love it. It has nice pockets and it is absolutely perfect and I am so glad that I did not lose my mind and spend $650 on a jacket that like everyone was saying you'll have it forever and that's true but I am really clumsy and that's what my sister was trying to remind me of she was like you're gonna spill something on it and you're gonna hate yourself and I was like no I won't but I would and I will and if something was that expensive I would be sick to my stomach if I ruined it in any capacity so again I am just so thankful that I didn't spend that kind of money on one material object because literally that would have been insane um but speaking of a lot of money on one material object um how long has this been off? I hope that it hasn't been off for very long because um, I was just like going on a roll. But I was saying how I want a new phone and I really am interested in the iPhone 6S. So, and it's in gold, which is what I want. It's like the exact one that I want. I, I'm like a crazy person, you guys. I already have a case for it. Um... <laughs> I'm literally crazy person. It's like right around here. I think it was like, I don't know where I put it, but I have a case for this phone that I don't even have and don't even know if I will get. Um, it's just like a, cl a clear case because I want to see the gold. So like literally I'm insane, but um, I really, really want it and it's expensive because you have to buy it at like the retail price or whatever. So um, for you guys that have iPhones and for you guys that are clumsy, because this is what is really like making me hesitate about buying an iPhone even though I think that they are gorgeous and I want emojis so bad. I don't want to continue to copy and paste emojis into text. Like I feel like I'm a freaking 90 year old. Um, is it worth it to buy such a breakable phone? And if you do, if you are clumsy and you do have like a six or like a whatever, um, what case do you use? Like I, I am like really annoying and I do not want to get like one of those big clunky cases like that really turns me off because I just think they're really ugly. So um, is it worth it for me to buy an iPhone knowing that I am very clumsy and I don't want to have to baby this thing that I'm going to have with me all the time? Like the one that I have now, it is a trooper, man. Like it is, it's not cracked. The, cre the screen is not cracked. Like, oh, I would be so mad if a screen cracked. Um, but 
it is just a trooper like it survives through everything and I'm afraid that the iPhone just seeing how easily like how many people have their screens cracked and just different things I am so afraid of that happening with something that is so expensive so let me know if you think it's worth it um if you've dropped it and it's been fine let me know that I don't know I don't even know if I'll be able to get my hands on it because it'll probably sell out so quickly so this weekend I'm really like weighing my pros and cons and then on Monday is when it like releases or whatever so that's been my current money like decision dilemma but I really want to do this um, Urban Decay sheer shame lip even though I want to be like more neutral with my makeup which I really like this makeup today um because it's winter <laughs> it's not winter it's like fall I really um have been wanting to wear this type of color this berry but I don't know I don't know you guys like life is crazy as usual it was my six months at um my current job and I just absolutely love it I know I don't really talk about it that much because it's such a small company and I don't I don't think that's really smart to talk about it um but I absolutely love it I only worked at Bed Bath & Beyond for six months and it was like the longest six months of my freaking life and I've been at this job for six months and it has flown by in a blink of an eye like I cannot believe I've been there for six months so um I love it I love the people there I love what I do and I got some good news this week um basically reaffirming my position there and like the future of being able to move up in the company so that's what on Instagram I posted I got some amazing news and um, I can't really go into the specifics of it but basically um, I'm just really happy and really thankful to have even had the opportunity to have a job at all um, but to be at a place where they want me to stay there for as long as I am gonna be there and so that's just really exciting to me and yeah it's like I'm saying it in such vague language because I don't really know what to exactly say but um I'm just really happy and I really appreciate you guys like wishing me congratulations and stuff when you don't even know what's really going on and it's it's just nice to have you guys as support it's really super amazing um and I really like this lip but there's like something in the corner of my mouth like does that ever happen to you oh I also wore this lip last weekend the Colourpop lippy stick in Bichette which should be called a bitchette but I love the shape of these I'm just gonna go over it cuz I don't know I don't know why um it needs a little more red it this is just like the easiest shape of like a lip product because you can like actually when you're not talking you can actually like get to the edge but also like use it as a liner it is like so nice and that is such a good color um this is these lippy sticks are probably the only things I really like from Colourpop because I don't know I just think the texture of their like eyeshadows and face products is weird um but yeah so this is my life currently um <laughs> but this is oh god and of course I have it all over my teeth wow this makes my teeth look really white that's like nice um uh I think that is it you guys so I really like this I really do um and let me know what types of videos you want to see from me I'm I have ideas but I'm like uninspired at the same time so if there are things that you think would be interesting for me to talk about or whatever please let me know because um I'm just kind of like Bleh, right now so 
that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble on and on. I really wish that we could have like a two-way conversation like presently. Um especially about TV shows so I could get your advice but reading your comments is basically like you're responding to me in real time so um, I love reading your comments especially on these get ready with me to see what has been going on with your life and um, just to hear what you guys have to say so I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys really soon bye